What is up? What is up? What is up? Welcome to the Fortress of Nerditude. My name is Spencer. And uh, it's time, man. It's time just to get back into this. It, it was a long weekend. And a lot of things that happened. A lot of fun stuff that went on. There was some crazy stuff that went on. And I'm just happy to be back with you guys here, the super friends. And we're going to chill tonight. I'm going to play some more Final Fantasy VII Remake. We're going to move on. Uh, we're going to try to just kind of have a nice chill chat. I want to hear from you, the super friends, and see what's good going on in your life right now. Something that's good that's happened. There's been way too much negativity lately. I just want to talk and have a great opportunity to talk about some good things that are happening. Lord knows we need good things. So that's kind of the plan for tonight we're gonna get going here uh i'm just at the telltale end of chapter 14 of final fantasy 7 remake so we'll switch over and we'll start playing the game and and yeah we'll take it from there so i hope you're having a good evening having some fun and let's uh let's get to it so we'll slide on over to game mode here apparently i downloaded called duty Yes, end game. Don't. So just about forty hours in. Finishing up. Chapter fourteen. Oh. Oh, pardon the beardness, but I trimmed up the uh, the neck of my beard because I've been letting this monstrosity of a beard grow the entire time I've been working for, and I hadn't trimmed anything like just let it go so today my wife is just like you got to do something at least about your neck trimmed it up and gave myself a little bit of a definition there for what it's worth and uh hopefully it looks good but if not eh, whatever she said i looked like a prisoner that was her exact words she said i looked like a prisoner i said well i mean i really don't leave the house I get to go outside in the yard for a little bit every day. So, it's kind of like prison. That makes sense. And, you know what? This is the weird thing. Is like, I think the last time I played this was Friday night. I'm trying to remember. I have to do... I think I gotta go over here. And that's... We push on... The next part of the game. Which means I gotta do... Whether to run around or I can just uh, take the old delivery service is the way we're going to do it. I don't want to run. It's the wall, urban market, wall market, urban advancement district. Yeah, it's been a day. I'm sitting here looking and putting work together. Can he speak English? That's impossible. Come on, let's try. All right. I'm also just going to check my levels here, make sure my microphone is working, and also the game audio. And I'm getting a phone call. My phone suspects it's a spammer, so I'll let it go to voicemail. Gibby, got to pop in with the bang. Oh, dang it, Gibby. Redeeming to make me do push-ups or sit-ups? Yeah, That means I gotta do something. I'm so tired and I'm so fat. Alright, Gibby. I'm gonna do... I think 10? 10, 10 push-ups or sit-ups? I'm gonna elect for... Yeah, sit-ups. Alright, so here we go. Which, I'm gonna be off camera so you're not gonna be able to see me. But I'll be down here behind my chair. And I'll make lots of horrible sounds so pay attention this is this is for you <laughs> sit-ups i should have done something smarter like eat 10 jelly beans all right you're not gonna be able to see me but here we go oh, oh i hate this already that's five six seven Eight, nine, ten. Good lord. Oh. Oh. Okay. <sighs> All right. Whew. <sighs> 
maybe you've redeemed 500 Krypton points, and maybe do 10 sit-ups. And I just realized that I probably need a better place because I don't have anywhere to like put my feet up against something. Eh, for what it's worth. Okay, I'm gonna try not to have a heart attack now. Thanks, Gibby. How's it going, man? How you doing? <sighs> so tonight's topic, Gibby, if you want to jump in, I want to hear something good. Something good from you. Something that's good that's happened. They go to my left. Because uh, we need to talk about good things. There's a lot of negative stuff going on. What is this? Ooh, find gratitude. Letter from guardian angel obtained, but gave me a materia as well. What pray tell is that? Let's see what it was. It went real fast. Let's see list. Absorption. I got that from Chumley. Oh, it was oh, it was another elemental. Gibby's doing well. How about me? You know, Gibby, I'm doing I'm doing pretty well, all things considered. I uh, today was like a just a long day. Like not a bad day, but it was just long. I'm trying to work through some uh, some things at work. It just seemed to take way longer than I wanted it to to do this something where they're linked because I need an elemental that means everything shoots put it on him and I can move I'm trying to figure out real quickly where I can put. I feel like I want to put this on cloud. Because if I can hit with it, hit with fire, that'll uh, let me do a little bit more. So I'm actually going to. Move this, this elemental on. Then every single time he hits his weapon, it's some fire. Gibby says, I decided to restart the game last night in the new game plus sort of way. Ooh. Are you going to try for the, uh, the platinum? Going to go for uh, all the achievements? Okay, that's pretty much, I think, where... Ready to do this? Once we start up that yeah, yeah. wall, we won't be coming back here anytime soon. All right, Gibby, so let me ask you a question here. I, having not played this game before, and, I, and I'm not looking for spoilers or anything, but I know that I probably can go back and do the pull-up challenge, all the pull-up challenges with Tifa, because I did the one that was... Part of the side quest but then I didn't do the rest and I know I can't come back here for that but I know that I could like probably replay that section on a playthrough if I go for the platinum is there any reason to go and do that now is there any anything that I could gain from that uh, that's that's question one if that's worth going back and doing this now or just go up the wall and question two, and I don't know if maybe you know this or not, but I know that I do a number of things that unlock Chadley, Chumley, I call him Chumley, unlock the opportunity to fight against uh, summons in the little VR thing. And I had a buddy that said he did his, he thought, in chapter 14. Do you know what I need to do to, like, trigger that next one? Because I've done Shiva... 
I've done the fat chocobo. I think those are the two fights that I did. I think those are the only two fights that I've done. And so I don't know if I need to go do something else uh, still here while I'm in chapter 14, or if I can do this a little bit later on. If you know those answers, I will wait for your response. Take a sip of water. I really should make those sit-ups a little higher than 500. Or maybe not. Maybe I leave them where they are because then people will use them more often and I'll have to do more sit-ups and push-ups. Uh, I'm not sure if there's anything worth going back for. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough, then we should probably go up and over the wall. Let's move on out of chapter 14. Out of here. I'm trying to gauge if I think I'm going to finish this game this week. Zag. Who are they? I know the avalanche tag. So, when this is over, you going to go on being a merc? That's the plan. Question, though. Reckon it suits you. Yeah, it does. Used to think you were a little shit with a big attitude and a bigger inferiority complex. Hey, maybe. Quite possibly the worst person I have ever met. <laughs> but that was before I figured you out. All this, it ain't you. Deep down, you're a pretty nice guy. Didn't see it when we were kids, but... Don't know about any of that. But kindness is no use on the battlefield. If anything, it's a liability. Hey, no one's asking you to treat Shinra uh, with uh, says, I gotta be honest, I've gotten the same thing with the BR. Okay. That's why I'm doing the new game plus because I feel like I missed a bunch and I thought about it. Noticed on other streams they had weapons I didn't. Yeah, I've also noticed that I've still got the exact same sword I've had for quite a while now. And I feel like I'm going and doing a lot of the extra things. So I don't know if I've missed something so far to this point or if... Or if like maybe it's something I gotta go purchase and I just have missed a purchase spot. I think Cloud only has three weapons so far. Buster Sword, one I got in the middle, and then the current one I've got the heart right now. Gloves. <sighs> Aerith's up there waiting for us. Oh yeah. Get her. Then we better get a move on, huh? Ready? <laughs> Ooh. A new trophy. So what was the other trophy? The look. <laughs> Day Midgar stood still. It's like a very like legendary title. Two goals. Goal one, kick some Shinra ass and save the planet. Goal two, save the girl while kicking more Shinra <laughs> ass and get out. <laughs> Sounds good to me. The question is how much fighting we're going to be doing in this. And around. Nothing behind me that I've missed so far. Okay. I think I ended with five weapons, and everyone I've seen has six. Oh, just out of curiosity. I need to do an upgrade, too. I've got four right now. I forgot I got that nail bat. Okay, let's... Why have I not been... That I've got... 30 points have it upgraded. That doesn't seem right. Damage, okay, discrete enemy parts. Aerial damage, okay. Still go there. A magic attack power goes up. Ooh, this is new. See the new one I unlocked. Two new materia slots. 
Attack power, attack power, attack power. Limit break damage. Bloodsucker, recover HP when you're defeated in battle. Ooh, okay. First of all, let's take a materia slot. The next materia slot, it connects them. Hmm. Go with a connected materia slot or attack power upgrade or get health back. Go with an attack power, maybe, I think. I think, I think. I can always undo it. I just never have game so far. Okay, let's make sure I've done all the proficiencies right yeah 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 he's got 13 he can probably upgrade a little bit more too oh this is 14 super close There we go. Increase stats a little bit. That'll help me out a little further. Uh, Gibby says I focus on attack and magic. <sighs> you know, it's kind of one of those things where, like, I need to figure out like exactly which um, which fighter I want to have. What, like, I kind of feel like I have a somewhat well-rounded-ish approach with a lot of them. Strike. I think the enemy skill was the one I took off. I don't know if that's super worth it or if it's something like having more magic. Probably that actually for right now. I feel like the heals that he does. Doing these big, big, huge heals where I toss it up and everyone gets it. All right, onward and upward. Gotta be careful. No telling what's gonna collapse or when. So yeah, what's going on? Tell me something good. What's Bobby, where did what's Daddy been go? happening in your life that's actually worth talking about right now? Are you hurt? This seems like way too much. It's just too much not worth talking about. It's just too sad or too unreal, like unbelievable. Or it's just horrible things that just like we're talking about non-stop. Damn it! Not again! Sound of Why did this have to happen? How long did you stay here? Over we go. Cloud was mixed, Barrett was more magic, and a tad bit of attack base. Tifa more attack, Aerith more magic. Yeah, when I get Aerith back, I need to make her more hey, uh, magic. You guys might want to turn around. A friend of ours needs help. It's too dangerous. For you, maybe. Oh, dang. That's just super salty for you, baby. Just try to be careful. Alright, we'll be careful. Relax. Is available. I haven't actually upgraded some of this stuff for everyone, but it's also just been because like I didn't have a lot of gill. Let's see. Probably should look and see like what everyone's wearing. Stat boosts aren't bad. Let's see what everyone's wearing super fast. Maybe I'll spend a little bit of money here. Like, uh, I 
Got the studded bracer and the champion belt. It's got the bullet vest. Like the max bullet. It's a moon charm. is damage taken when equipped by non-active characters. That rumor is it. See, I, I mean, I haven't even been looking at any of this stuff. I've got all these different things that I could be doing here. Wrist guards, pull up. Tifa got on. Crescent Moon Charm. Desire. Side for. This is damage taken. Battle with auto life status effect fixed upon. as well as cast is 20 that's not bad Actually, I'm gonna put this I mean yeah one of those ooh strengthen summons called battle yeah that'll do so These are like the higher end version. Ten. Isn't immune to sleep. Do this. Or just one of these for Barrett. Ten. Spear by ten. Poison. Sleep. I think that's it this is one of those games where like I could spend way too long just looking at all the things trying to decide like what's the best thing to do still not be sure if I made the right choice get the better bulletproof vest oh it's called survival vest there we go. There we go. Oh, we gotta go up. Oh no, hello. Sit. We'll sit, we'll relax for a second. So Gibby is the uh, new game plus. Is this like a, is it a full playthrough or can you like select chapters? How does it work? <laughs> Here we go. It's on you. Hey, no thing. Man. Hope you don't mind, Yo. Worked up a good I really do like Barrett's ability. Maximum Fury. Okay. It is freaking. Okay, uh, you can select chapters and play through the rest of the game from the chapter you choose. Oh, can like, but can you bounce around? Could you say like, I want to replay chapter 14, and then after 14's done, you could go back and say, now I want to play chapter seven. And can you bounce around like that or is it you just pick a chapter 
and then play forward the whole game from that point. So if they let you bounce around, that might be nice to go and do some things you might have missed. Give it all you got. But if you got a <coughs> if it's wherever you choose from, you have to go the rest of the way. Deal with that. Wind. You're up. My turn. Don't overdo it. Yes, it's my turn. Bring in the heat. Nice. No surprises there. A potion. Okay. Can't really fall down there, huh? Can we? Shinra. Oh, you can. Okay, good, good, good. That's good to know. I definitely want to be able to bounce around later. I know, I think in chapter 9, there was like three different options you could have and different dress combinations. And, uh, and I, uh, I know that I didn't, I only got the one, right? And, and I know it's going to take a, uh, probably a couple playthroughs get them all Spells for certain amount of damage makes it to the public contempt. They still the spells of their elemental that nice. Okay, I think let's do this. I'm not going out like this. The clouds hit them with fire. Deal with that. I think he's got Yeah. Yeah, wind spell on him. Stay down, asshole. Okay. Apparently we're gonna have to heal up a bit. Camera angle on that's just weird. Still. Bring it all. Bring in the heat. Bang, bang. He's pouring it all. There we go. Burn him down. I definitely can tell that I've uh, been playing other games. Cause like here I am like not paying attention. Let's do this. Like my health, I'm just like do 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 do. Let's fight. Guys, were uh, 
tougher than I thought they were going to be. Alright. Let's heal everyone up. Let's top off everyone just a little bit. redeeming Krypton points and once again I'm gonna be doing sit-ups and or push-ups I'm gonna do sit-ups again so uh, this will be another round of 10 so you're gonna hear me grunt and you're gonna hear me suffer so hang out a second Geo this is what you wanted man right back At the end of this stream, I'm gonna have. <sighs> Gibby! <laughs> Alright. Gibby, you've also redeemed Krypton points. I'm regretting seriously this channel point idea already. Alright. Do 10 more sit ups. This makes for super entertaining content. Me dying on the floor, off camera. No one will know that I'm dead. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh. Okay. Okay. I'm going. I'm not dead. I'm not dead. Oh, Gibby, what the? Hey. <laughs> oh, you're, you're trying to break me. I don't have the. I don't have the, the music side figured out yet. Hadn't thought it through. Okay. So. I'm going to sing part of a song. The question is, what do you want me to sing? I'll tell you if I know it. And I'll do a little bit of it. Very, very badly. You think about that for a second while I catch my breath and drink a little water. channel point business I should have just said you can highlight your things you can double highlight your thing your messages <laughs> and that's it Gia I don't know if you noticed but I also did clean up the, uh, the neck of my neckline some give a little shape to the old uh, quarantine beard that I've been growing Ooh. Where are we supposed to be going here? Oh, down this way. So that's where we have to climb. Let the comes apart while we up there. Ah! We've made it through worse. You know. <laughs> Come on, yeah, Gio. No you gotta get. It's a you gotta pick out a song. Been killed a dozen times over by now. You pick out a song and I'll sing it or try to sing it or part of it. Whew. It's a dead end. 
wonder if this rope belongs to Scooby Doo theme. Think we might be able to climb up here. All right, let's Scooby Doo. Uh, Gibby says, I just realized they took away the emote. Uh, I don't know. They didn't. Twitch didn't. I unchecked mine because I only have one emote right now, I believe. Um, and I don't know if it would allow you to unlock that one emote. It's the only, it's the only one for a, a sub at my level. Hold on one second. Hey. Oh yeah. Yeah, I put on, I put on that I would redeem for push-ups. Channel point. I've done 30 sit-ups so far. Cream. I'll keep the door cracked. You keep the door cracked in case Just I die. Frida! <laughs> Gibby and Geo killed me! Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Love you. My wife wanted to let me know that, uh... She won't let me die in vain. She'll know that I'm dead. Alright. Scooby-Doo. Let's see here. I know most of those right off the top of my head, but I'll pull up the lyrics here just in case I'm, uh, you know. Yep. Okay. Here we go. Scooby dooby doo. Where are you? We got some work to do now. Scooby dooby doo. Where are you? We got a mystery to solve now. And I would have got away with it if it weren't for you dang kids. There you go, Geo. Flex those pipes a little bit. Oh, there's a universal emote everyone can use that's not there anymore. Oh, really? That is probably because I unchecked it. I will have to go uh, add that back. That'll be really easy for me to for me to do though. And go and add that back in. Dang it. Uh, let's see here. That's super fast, or do I have to log into my thing? There we go. There we go, Geo. That I can do. Ooh. And a posture check. <sighs> Redeeming some Krypton points today, getting use out of them. <clears throat> I just hydrated and checked my posture. And I'm sitting upright. Barely. <laughs> there you go, GG. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Yeah, you, you uh, redeemed your channel points to highlight the message. Another 10 push ups. Nice try. You almost got me. I almost was like, oh, 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 oh. Jokers. I love you. You guys are all jokers right now. You know that, right? Okay, we just came for that. <laughs> I'm wondering if you noticed. Oh, if it comes to me having to do sit-ups or push-ups, yeah, I'm going to take a close look and make sure. Time for the grappling gun. Got grapple again? Try to aim for that part of the rope that's hanging there. Don't screw up and fall. By the way, how well you do with this grappling gun? Will tell us a whole lot about Not the you. fact that I've like helped save your daughter. Just remember, we can't come back down. Are you ready? To use the grappling gun to reach high locations, find a spot above where the grapple can catch and hold. Location where grapple can be fired, be a rope coiled on the ground below. Cross such a rope, look up and try to find a spot to attach the grapple. Okay. <laughs> Gibby, <laughs> I tricked a friend in defeating his pet with that trick. Nice. I think I see a rope hanging off the top there. I said, uh. Okay. It's kind of cool. I wish we could use that throughout the game more. Too easy. This keeps up. I'm gonna get bored. Yeah, don't say that too loudly, Barrett. What the crap is that? Guilty. 
hate those little helicopter helicopter dudes. Huh. It we looks like one take. of these things on steroids. We need to stay on mission. <laughs> exact same thing. So is this like an optional boss I can do? I'll totally save it and go after it if I can. I'm sure it'd be worth it. I know. Saving Aerith is our top priority. Hated that thing. So the question is, do I have to do it now or can I go and uh, do it later? I'm just guessing there's some sort of a... There'll be some sort of a, an achievement. Oh, this is new. Deal with that. Assess this guy. There we go. No need to and then with physical attacks and blocking theirs will eventually make them susceptible to staggering. Perfect. Taking over. Uh. Soldier at third. Hey, what's your status? That a radio. Hunter 2 2. Respond, damn it! <sighs> this is Hunter 2 2. Just had to put down a few monsters. Over. <sighs> Roger. Freaking avalanche making us put in OT. Probably nice. cowering in the dark somewhere. If you find the shitheads, make them suffer. 2 3 out. <clears throat> Listen up! We ain't running and we ain't wow. hiding! Y'all don't know the meaning of suffering, but you will! Call was over. Well, uh, yeah. Hey, Brian! How's it going, buddy? We are moving on. We are in chapter 15. I did find the elemental materia you were talking about. I appreciate the heads up to remind me to look around. Not this guy again. Come on, we need to get inside. Doing? We're gonna get get inside. Don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna have to fight this guy or not. I'm guessing he's he's got to be an optional boss, right? Grappling guns to get up there. Jump over all this shit. Not much choice. I hate. I hate those helicopter dudes. I swear, like I almost like die to them every time. And a doggy. It's them. Avalanche. Two, three. This is one four. We have contact. I guess everybody and their mother knows. Let's get it now. Goddamn, Alright, these guys are kind of like the normal variety. Since I 
hate him. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, gosh. I just love this. Check out this shit right here. Seriously. Uh, still fighting? There must be. Where, where at though? Brian says, glad you got the second elemental. Those are game changers. Callie says, good night. Hey, Callie, have a good night. These guys here look faster, shall we? Oh, no, stop running. I want to get a breather. Okay. Let's hit him with something big. Heal up now. Good night. Oh, yes, Brian. We do have a stream topic tonight. Let's see if it'll actually drop in there like it's supposed to. Let's see. Let me try that again. Oh, no. Okay, so my Elgato stream deck is not working. So the stream topic tonight, because there's a lot of there's a lot of sad and a lot of negative in the world right now. I want to hear something positive that's happened to you in the last little while. I want to talk about like fun or good or positive or heartwarming things because I just feel like everywhere I turn, I mean, we got a lot of real stuff going on. Let's be honest. There's a lot of real stuff going on uh, in the world right now with global pandemic and with you know the protests and whatnot but like i just need a break from that i'll talk about something good it was something big smirks no look at you geo <laughs> gibby says the stream topic is push-ups yes push-ups and sit-ups you guys have been making me regret it since the beginning <laughs> geo positive I saw you make some delicious ribs. They were good ribs. I'm not gonna lie. They were good ribs. That's what I did. What about you? Like, what's going on? Uh, we're gonna... I don't want to go through it again. What is something good in life? 
I've got one. I mean, it's kind of a, it's not really like a sad, sad thing, but um, I've scheduled some time off. I'm going to uh, go with my wife and kids up to my wife's uh, family's house in Montana over like the 4th of July. And we're going to go for like, I think technically we're going to be there like 10 days uh, with travel and everything. But going up there for a funeral, her grandfather passed away back in March. And then due to the global pandemic, we couldn't go up there. But he'd been sick with cancer for a number of years and his wife had passed the year before and he'd lived a good long life. So like, it's a real, it's a real blessing uh, and a comfort that he's, you know, moved on. But we do get to go and be together with family. And that's something like we haven't done in months. So like, that'll be nice to kind of see, see more loved ones and be around people and, uh, yeah, not necessarily like, you know, like the happiest of things, but it, there will be like a lot of positivity that'll come out of that. So that's something that's positive in my life. I'm looking forward to it. I just took the time off today, put it on the calendar. And uh, it was nice to know that I actually have a break coming up where I can maybe get away from work and everything and just kind of, you know, take some time. Sad thing is, I haven't figured out how I'm going to stream yet. Because I want to keep playing games and streaming. Their internet up there is, it's not great, it's not horrible, but the problem is there's gonna be a house full of people. And my sister-in-law. What do you think? Can we climb it? Sure, with the grappling gun. I just hope that this time it holds. My, uh, my sister-in-law runs a food blog, so she's gonna be uploading stuff. And my brother-in-law is gonna be working remotely while he's up there part of the time. So I really kind of would feel guilty about like, using a lot of their bandwidth and uh, potentially, you know, making it hard for people to do their jobs. I, I don't know. I don't know how that's going to work out. Uh, okay. Brian here says my daughter, Maddie is starting to say some more words or attempting to, she learned the color yellow and says, yay, yo, you can ask her to get the yellow gear off her toy and she will go and pull the correct color. So it's really neat to see these developments see the connections being made in her mind it's fun that is awesome brian like that is yes that's what i'm talking about that is cool yeah yo I'm trying to think i think our boys called it lello oh dang it of course they did that's where i could have sat instead of used my stuff yeah yo i like that this cheap Yes. Yes. I really don't need Phoenix Downs because I've got five materia, but cheap, so can't hurt. And I'll pick up another of these. Yeah, I think my boy said Lello. Matter of fact, I'm almost positive that that's what Charlie said. something gosh there was something that Jackson said today even at six he, he's got a little bit of a speech defect um, he's been going like we've been taking him to a speech therapist for maybe like at least two and a half years now maybe and um, oh no jeez <laughs> I didn't see these guys. Um, so sometimes he'll say stuff that's like super cute. It just makes you laugh. But no. Gotta stay. Just uh, defeat these guys already. What the heck happened there?
Keep it up. Oh. Okay, wow. I literally thought I was just gonna come over here for the Shinra boxes. Glad I came over here, but woo! 2,000 gil. Uh. So yeah. Anyway, that's good. Uh. Yeah. So like I like yeah. Anyway, Brian, going back to the thing. I love when kids get to that age and start saying new words and figuring stuff out. I'm like, you're watching the wheels turn in their mind. So awesome. Gibby says, I'm getting ready for some big announcements with my band to happen. With everything going on, we might push it back. I'm going to talk to everyone and see how they feel. Uh, that is cool. Um, can we get, like, a hint? Like, are we talking, like, big announcement with your band? Like, you're going to kick off a big tour, sign something, you've made some changes, you're, I don't know, changing your musical style, is it in that respect, or is it more like, you know, I don't know, you guys have all bought a van and you're gonna go, you know, go, I don't know, town to town or something in a van. I'm just trying to pump you for information, I'm curious because I'm interested to see. Actually, do this, what kind of music do you play, Gibby? What, uh, you know, what's your band's name and what kind of music do you play? You're signing with a label? Is it like a big label? Like label we would have heard of? Or is it like a local label? Tell me more. Tell me more. Okay. You said I was going to tell you to go there. They caught me off guard as well when I ran into them. Yeah, right? I mean, I literally just came across and I was like, oh, there's a guy here. Maybe I can talk to him. And then as soon as I got there, I was like, oh, no, I'm going to have to fuck. He does not like me. Jackson, my youngest, has a, uh, I don't know why this made me think of this, but maybe I was thinking because Jackson was giving me a, like a stink face. That's what we call a stink face. He was like, you know, um, he's got a loose tooth, top and the front. And it's so loose that it's starting to like, kind of like go crooked a little bit, like in front of the other tooth. And so he resists like any like doctor or dentist or whatever. And so like, I know I'm going to have to like, pin him down in order to like take the tooth out of his mouth because he won't do it himself he had one tooth that he ate something and eventually swallowed and he just thinks that's what's going to happen with all his teeth so tonight I was telling him that we're going to pull it out tomorrow my plan is to pull it out earlier in the day so that you know we can stop the little bit of bleeding and it can kind of heal up and he'll forget about it because the last time we tried to do one at night time Fought and kicked and screamed and made nighttime go like an extra hour. It was miserable. So, <laughs> so yeah, that's my plan for tomorrow. Besides work, all the usual things. I've got to coerce my six-year-old son into allowing me to take tooth out. Fair. Supposed to be going. I think I see a rope hanging off the top there. Top of what? Oh. I think I see a rope hanging yeah, off the top. Yeah, okay, there. I see the rope. But let's go see if there's anything in here. And a workbench thing. Oh, there's nothing in here? I figured this would be a good spot to like hide something. There, okay, there's nothing else here. Okay, that's where we're going, I guess. Okay. Brian says, I also completed Detroit Become Human yesterday and replayed through the final chapter to get more ending snipe. Can't wait to talk about it if you give it a shot. Brian, like I, I've been uh, talking with Tim Paulin lately about like what I want to play next. And of course, like we're getting super, super close to The Last of Us 2, but Detroit Become Humans, like on, like it's on my list. Now, I don't know if, hold on a second. Oh, hold on, get an email notification. Okay, sweet. Wife doesn't listen to this, so, uh, Real quick, I'll interrupt this story for the reason I looked at that. Um, I've been waiting for confirmation for a while because I bought my wife a surprise on Amazon a week ago. 
I saw something on another stream talking about it. I went, ooh, my wife would love this. And I very, very ever rarely just like surprise her with like a gift out of the blue. If it's like Mother's Day, her birthday, Christmas, you know, we do gifts at those times, but like I never just like surprise her like a gift. So it's going to be delivered on Thursday. So I'm super excited. Anyway, get back to the other thing. I, uh, Detroit Become Humans on my list. And I think, I think I want to play I'm just trying to decide if I want to play that first for my, uh, stream or if I want to, um, just kind of play it on my own. I think I see a rope hanging off the top bed. I think you're talking crazy talk. We gotta go fight these little spiders over. Uh, okay, Gibby says, my band is called Love Again. I think I see a rope Stop hanging there. Off. Called Love Again. We're an alternative rock band. We've only been officially a band since April. We've been working on the band for over a year or so now. The label's a small label from California, but they know they are stepping stone kind of label. You know, a few bands that were signed to them and got deals with bigger labels. Dude, Gibby, that is awesome. Do you have, uh, do you have any music? Like if I were to go like search Love Again, like on Spotify or SoundCloud or anything, like I could go and like hear anything you guys have done? Or would this be like your first album you're cutting so you don't really have anything out there yet? And uh, you've just been kind of like working on it and local sh Cause if I could go listen to your stuff, man, I totally go listen to your band. Check it out. Cause I love rock and roll and I was born in the late seventies. So I kind of went through the whole, like, listen to like, you know, hair metal, hair rock, glam rock stuff in the eighties. My cousins played then got big into the alternative rock stuff in the nineties. And so like, anything rock is, is good, good, good. You can stream it anywhere you can get your music. There's a music video on YouTube. All right. All right, hold on a second. I'm making notes here. I'm going to make notes here real quick because I'm going to go check this out later. That was weird. My keyboard just barely caught up here. Okay, there we go. Love again. Gibby's band. Song is 86. Music. Bid on YouTube. Yes, he's going to go check that out later. Dude, that's totally awesome, Gibby. Okay, well, I'm going to look forward to, uh, to checking that out and watch that. And then as well, uh, when you guys make your big announcement, uh, excited. That is good. That's good news. I, uh, I grew up singing. Stop it. I grew up singing and I played in some like just garage bands. Nothing ever ever really serious I always thought that that would be super fun to do we got a more permanent basis but but uh, one of the things I always loved about music especially like when you're creating music is like you just have an idea and and you can like you know just just kind of put it out there and you can create something and I love You're that. Good at this. I always thought that was a lot of fun. Told you so. I'm not in the video though. <laughs> I wasn't in the band. They filmed it so it feels weird to promote the video, but I still love it so much. Hey man, that's not a problem. I mean that's like saying, you know, Sammy Hagar never played any of David Lee Roth's, you know, songs. I think I see a rope hanging off there. the top bed. Stop, buddy with you. Get there. Nothing hiding. And because you know he did. I always play the great... Or Gary Sharone. Okay, that's an even better example. Gary Sharone joins Van Halen for a single album 
Ben Halen 3. No, he was singing more than just that fire in the hole song that was popular he did. You know he did everything else. That's a good question. What do you do in the band? Play bass? Let's finish this. Gibby, are you married or are you taking full advantage of being the bass player in the band and getting all the chicks? Keep those gloves up. Sure thing, coach. This little back and forth repartee. Keep them gloves up. Sure thing, coach. <laughs> Brian, I played a rock band. Er, I mean, I play rock band. That's funny. I like that. Okay. Just want to make. I mean, it seems like that's the next natural place. Oh. oh. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, so this is stairs. Like one of these has got to have something for me. The other one is going to. Get over there. There's gotta be something over there. Like, there's gotta be a reason. To get over there. Go back down. That is true, but it's like having the first Van Halen music video ever featuring David Lee Roth. Sammy Hagar's in the band, you know what I mean? <laughs> hey, man. It's, uh, yeah, see, that's that's all good. Take a look. Gotta be something. Okay. Gotta be something around here. Oh, see? Ha yeah, ha! Here you go. So when you uh, when you play the bass, are you a are you a slapper or are you a picker? Not married, but I'm taken. Okay. I gotcha, gotcha. say it again. Looks like there's a rope over there. It just takes me right back here. Can't go the other way, can I? Go. Okay, so now we run back down and around because I was just being silly here. Ugh. Camera, 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 stay out of my way. Let's get crazy here. Back over here and up the stairs. Oh, those guys came back, huh? Knock these guys down again. <laughs> We don't need no stinking spider bots. Good job. Yo. Let's go. So Brian's beat this game. Gibby's beat this game and is starting over again. Go back. Guessing. Brian, what about you? Any uh, any uh, plans on replaying this game? Gibby says it depends on what it sound what I'm going for sound wise with my tone. Okay, I know some bass players prefer just like one or the other, and some of the, like the little garage bands I was in, all my bass players were always just kind of pickers. 
something happened there. It's got dog. But I knew a guy that I never really played with, but he was a slapper and like it's like all he would do. Give me a break. <laughs> Hit it with thunder. Right off the bat. Check out this shit right here. Can I get in there like we keep getting pushed away but it's some sort of like force field or something. smoother tone. Okay. I get that. Um, Ryan says, not intending to replay just yet. Don't want to burn out on it. Going to clear more backlog. Uncharted Lost Legacies next. I haven't played Lost Legacy. That's the only Uncharted title I've never played. Uh, but I've played the... I think I played the first one twice, and then each of the other ones once. Although technically, I think I maybe had to play the second, or the fourth one a second time to get the platinum because I got that platinum. Have you gotten the 200% stagger for battle intel yet? I don't think so. I don't think I have. I know that that's like one of the things, right? Like one of the... Uh... Let's see here. Okay, nothing. It's like an achievement or part of the way towards an achievement. We're all going down. Go up again, let's see. And I guess I'm gonna come over here to get some Shinra boxes. And some homeboys are gonna jump out and surprise me. Like last time. Knowing my luck. Ryan, something else Gibby and I were talking about is that I only have four swords at this point, or four weapons for Cloud. He said he finished with five. He said a lot of streamers he saw finished with six. Just curious, because I'm not... Unless I've got to go buy them. I haven't seen an uh, opportunity to get a sword in a while. Okay. There's a spot there to go up. I swear there's another spot to go up. don't know. Okay, yeah, there's this. Oh. There we go. I'll take that. Okay, um. And, uh, Gibby says, been watching a friend of mine stream Uncharted from 1, and it looks so fun. Man, you never played those games, Gibby? Dude, you totally should pick them up. I think... A little while ago, the Nathan Drake collection, which is the first three, was on PSN. Uh, for I mean, uh, on PS Plus for free. And then, even if it's not there, you probably get it pretty cheap. And then Uncharted 4 can't be that bad now. Ryan says, still rocking the hard edge, I see. I think by around this point, I'd upgraded the Iron Blade enough to want to switch back to it because it has more materia slots. Get another one or two swords in coming chapters. 
You know, I'll come up here and I'll take a look. Because I can... I can upgrade. Look we'll at these, uh... I didn't even think about the fact that like some of the other weapons could be harder. I'm talking about the the iron blade here. This guy. The strength on this thing just looks like out out of this world. I mean, I probably buffed it up. And the Buster Sword, like I could do like a 127 points worth. Arch Broadsword has inherited the hopes of those who fight. A great sword cast from the selected iron ore. Yeah, I don't need Ever. So you think the iron blade's actually better than the hard edge? The, the, just because the hard edge is a little slower? Take a look. You can change it up. But maybe before we do that, maybe we uh, upgrade it. Oh, that's... That's out of the way, and then I can just re-slot my materia over. Ooh. One, okay. Let's see. Max HP, max... Attack power, plus eight. Get off recover MP when receiving significant damage, so that's kind of cool. Materia slot. My slot connected. Oh yeah, look at this. Ooh. I don't know if I need that much material. <laughs> I just went crazy with it. I'd have to go back and clear this off because, I mean, that's what? Six materia slots and I have got 17 points left and I need to like probably actually get some of the base stats up. <laughs> okay, yeah, that one. The upgrades will help greatly and make them comparable. Iron Blade might be slightly less on attack. The added slot was worth it to me. Uh, Geo says, yeah, the collection was free on, on plus four, then they made four free again because COVID. Oh, yeah. I totally forgot about that. Okay. Can't undo these things until I go see Chumley. Yeah, because I'm going to have to go look at this because some of those, these, like I could probably, there's some good stuff here, but like I need all these, uh, I need you to get all these attack powers added in instead of, you know, six Tyria slots. Yeah, second attack power 12. All right, I will come back to this here in a bit. I'm going to have to go see Chumley about it. The other thing, I guess, let me take a quick look. Now, Brian, I'm thinking about it. And I got my elemental material link there. Oh, yep. My magnifying healing's over here, so I don't need to worry about that because that would still be intact. So I just need to basically do... A little bit more to get the uh, attack up a little, a little higher. Yeah. Okay. That is good to know. Yeah, I I kind of forget that like you could probably reposition stuff and have like comparable stats, but maybe do some different things. I think the one difference for me too was I never spent upgrade points on conditional upgrades, i.e., buff low HP, I only took upgrades that were constant. Yeah, I kind of have felt the same way. Like, take the things that are going to like actually be used in every fight, not just situational stuff. Like, where it's like you get 5% more attack power on discrete parts. It's like, yeah, but how often do I am I going to be doing 
that. I don't know if that, that makes sense. And I also don't know where I'm going here. Came around. Oh, maybe down here. Came up. Don't you ever forget this view. That. Good heavens. Yeah, Gibby says, yeah, same here. Yep. Yeah, it's just not worth it. Uh, okay, going back a little bit. Brian says, Uncharted 1 was rough. I played that for the first time in PS4, Nathan Drake collection. They kept getting better and better with each iteration. I agree. It did get it did get a lot better as, uh, as time went on. I don't think that first game was, like, rough, rough. But, I mean, it's... Like, I think the game's from, like, 2008, maybe? So... It still is fun to play, but definitely, uh, but like, definitely, like, it doesn't, like, it's nowhere near as smooth as, like, even two. Like, the two took a big leap forward, and then three was even more, and then by the time you get to four, I mean, I'm talking a triple A game on the PS4, you know, getting towards the end of the end of the generation, so kind of different. Uh,. Freed up more points to spend on attack and magic power upgrades, somewhat leveling the playing field weapons. What game is rough? Jedi Knight Academy? I was expecting you to say Jedi Knight Fallen Order. Because I know a lot of people uh, had a hard time with uh, some of the mechanics in that game. I, uh, I didn't, really. I played it here on the stream, and... I ended up getting a platinum in that game. I didn't think it was too bad. Ryan, Uncharted 3 pissed me off when I'm chapter 11 and my game froze and save file corrupted and had no choice but to restart from scratch. That sucks. That sucks bad. I mean, I love, I love those games. And like I wouldn't mind replaying, but like, what is the only way? Let me get over there. Is that already over there, and I missed it, or is this gonna be a? No, I haven't been up there yet. Okay, remember I gotta come down. I think. Um, I would not have been happy if I had to like. Look down. If I had to like restart. Oh. Look down. Just keep going. Don't look down. Don't look down. Easy bear. Easy bear. Love the game. The only issue I had with it is that there's a part that keeps crashing my game. Are you talking about the uh, Jedi Academy game or are you talking about the Uncharted 3 that kept crashing your game? I want to make sure I get over there and I don't miss that. I think I've been pretty lucky where I haven't had like a lot of games that have been crashing my game. Let's give them hell. And then stop. You know what? Don't overdo it. Yeah, I'll do it. Uh. He's got the wind. there buddy wants to like just sit there and wail on me she have what does she have Didn't like the fire, did you, buddy? Call the fire. Not looking good. Come on.
There we go. Best hey, Tim. So Raiden with the party of eight. Flex them if you got them. What's going on, Raiders? How goes it? It's a bacon raid. The best kind of raid. A raid full of bacon. That there. I just like triggered the thing to want me to let me to go down. Tim raid hype. What's going on, Tim? Thank you for joining us here tonight. Your death says crash issues depending on the collection. Leaderboards. Hey, we got more friends incoming. We love that. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, what's up here? Oh, there, that's what's up here. And I, oh, look at that. That's crazy. I love like, even though it doesn't give me like the whole like feeling of, um, the Uncharted games. I love just like the little like, hey, come around here, do this, go look for that. Just for this right back here, right? Okay, that's the only place. Uh, let's see here. Tim, it's going well. Having some fun tonight, just kind of relaxing. The uh, stream topic, if my Elgato wasn't going crazy, which I don't know why it is, is uh, tell me something good. Tell me something good going on in your life. Hey, Gio with the host. Thanks, Gio. I appreciate it. I totally missed the raid alert again. I swear, it's... I gotta go change it. It's too quiet. I like it. I like my new raid alert, but it's too quiet. <laughs> Rolled credits on LA Noir. I'm like, yeah, didn't Tim just barely start that? Yeah, Tim says got at least another 20 hours on it. Okay. Yeah, I I didn't think I didn't think you uh, had rolled credits. Geo does say that you do uh, you had Bioshock either the first or the second game freeze on you. Oh, I've only played Infinite. I've never played the others, but I've got the uh, Bioshock collection, and I've thought about playing that, 